Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. This is an informational video. I will help you to understand about a very good and useful component. Let's go to the video. This is an RGB LED which is very powerful. I saw it in online store and bought it for testing. So I thought of making this video for you so that you will also get familiarized with this component. This LED module is made up of three LEDs, red, blue and green. You can see it's a lens projection angle. It is very sharp and so powerful. Each LED will give you one watt power and altogether we will get an output of three watt. And this LED requires a heatsink. A very good heatsink is required and it should be fixed using a thermal paste between LED and heatsink. Uh, you don't require this much big heatsink but one fin from this heatsink is enough. Normally we are fixing this in a PCB and the PCB will be fixed on top of a heatsink and there will be a hole uh, just beneath the LED heatsink area and we will place the heatsink component in between the hole and the PCB will be fixed on top of the heatsink. By fixing in this way the LED will last forever. The LED lifespan will be reduced if we are not dissipating the uh, heat correctly. I told you earlier that this module is made up of three LEDs. So let's find out the negative and positive of this uh, LED module. This LED has no common anode or common cathode terminal. Each LED has its own terminals. That is why it contains six terminals for each LED two terminals. So altogether six terminals are there and all uh, all terminals are independent. I will help you to find the positive terminal. The, you can see the middle terminal has a positive symbol etched in that. That three terminals are the positive terminal of the three LEDs. Now I will show you the brightness of this LED by powering up this LED using a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. The working voltage of this LED is it will start lighting from 2.8 volt and the peak voltage is 3.8 volt. Since this is a testing I am not using any current limiting resistor but if when you are using it you should use a current limiting resistor otherwise this LED will be blown up. Since I am using a 3.7 volt battery I will be connecting it for a short period of time only. In order to extend the lifespan of this LED, I prefer to fix the potential difference across the LED to 3.5 volt fixed so that the brightness will be uh, slightly less but the LED will stay for a long period. My studio has very good brightness that is why the uh, LED's brightness is not reflecting correctly to the camera. I will switch off my uh, studio light and will test it. I am recording this on daylight and the, this light is actually coming through the window. So uh, slightly a pretty good brightness is there in my room. You can see this L the LED I am actually going to light it from behind the camera then you will clearly identify how much brightness the LED will be lighting. If you like this video then please click like button and also share this to your friends. Please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this. That will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then.
goodbye and please take care